So here we have the BMW M140i automatic on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase that space even further. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get four leather seats, there's plenty to run from the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. On the left hand side we have cruise control and speed limiter, and on the right hand side stereo and phone controls, including voice activation for the phone. Uh, we've also got this minus and plus paddle just here. That is so that you can change gear manually uh, with this automatic gearbox. Over in the center, we have the touchscreen for the car. This is BMW's professional nav. As I say, this is all touchscreen, so you can access uh, anything from here, like your uh, radio and media, for example, or you can do everything using the iDrive system, which is essentially this dial, collection of buttons as well, but mainly the dial. Um, so when you're on the move, you can go through any menu you want to go through. When it comes to music, you can see that we have DAB, FM and AM radio. Uh, we have got a CD player, as well as being able to stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. We have USB input just there as well. That's where you pay your phone under the communication heading. And then we have satellite navigation. There's a full video showing exactly how this works on both our website uh, and on our YouTube channel as well. Well worth checking both of those out if you have uh, the time to. Working our way down from that, we have a CD player and then dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures, the fan speed up or down from here. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed for both driver and passenger individually. When you're happy with all of those settings, that button turns the air conditioning on. Or if you hit auto, the car will take control of the uh, fan speed and the direction of the air in order that it maintains those temperatures. To override that, just press the auto button again. We've also got proper heated driver and passenger seats, both with three different heat settings each, as you can see. Below that, we have a 12 volt charging socket and two cup holders. You can close those off if you want to. The gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. And then these buttons just here. So this one, firstly, turns off traction control. And then this will change the driving setup of the car. So if I press the sport button, we are then in sport mode. This car also has sport plus mode, which is exactly the same as sport, but gives you dynamic traction control as well. Back down to sport, comfort, which is your everyday driving. And at the bottom there, Eco Pro. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.